So in this lecture, we will be discussing chart balance equation of n type semiconductor, and hereby we will now moving towards p type, right? So all things about n type semiconductor is completed after this chart balance equation. So as we know, this is the band diagram, energy band diagram of n type semiconductor, right? It is EFN. Obviously, we are talking about non degenerative over here. So this is the energy band diagram. So what happens as we as we all know that this uh, donor energy level is created due to phosphorus atoms which have the extra electrons. Okay, one extra electron, right? So as we increase the temperature, what will happen? This electrons will go upward. Okay, and electrons from this valence band will also grow into conduction band. So overall. The electrons will be and this whole sphere created right over here the whole sphere created but over here since this is as we discussed in our previous video that this is the donor energy level due to the extra phosphorus atom the extra electrons on the phosphorus atoms right this is due to the phosphorus atoms which are located far away okay we have this doping concentration ratio so which are far away and due to that this discrete energy level where d it's not for discrete but it's for donor why it is donor because they give their electrons as we increase the temperature and they becomes ion over here we will get ion okay since this level is for is due to phosphorus right whereas this electron hole pair is of the same semiconductor right over here these two bands are of silicon semiconductor whereas let me show you the paper that whereas this silicon atom and this crystal will continue like this okay so due to this extra electron of phosphorus atom okay we have the efn slightly above okay that is the reason for this and this discrete energy level that is ed okay or which we can say donor impurity level is created due to phosphorus atoms located at every per 10 raised to 10 si atoms right so that is the reason over here charge will be created since as we have discussed in our previous video in the video named the difference between charge and whole electron pair okay that is ion positive ion and negative so over here ions will be created right so these are ions where whereas over here no ions will be formed it is electron whole pair generation you can say that this energy went as a as its own okay individually is positive obviously because as we all know whole is nothing but absence of electrons so it is behaving as a positive charge but if we consider only this particular layer overall the material will be neutral right so since overall material will be neutral that let and let's say the donor impurity level is nd so the positive charge is equals to negative charge okay in overall since any material is neutral so positive charges over here are nd these are the ions which are formed due to the electrons that is phosphorus atom donating electrons to the conduction band of silicon right this phosphorus atom is donating the electron to the conduction band of silicon right so that's why this positive charge are created and other positive charges due to the holes created in valence band so let me denote let us first fix the notation. This denotes number of holes in n type semiconductor. Whereas this denotes number of electrons in n type semiconductor. And similarly, this is number of electrons in number of holes in p type semiconductor. And this is number of electrons in p type semiconductor. This will be our notation throughout our course. So, and what is the negative charge? Negative charge we get is over here whatever are the electrons that is number of electrons that is free electrons in conduction band or just we can say number of free electrons in n type semiconductor so this is nothing but our charge balance equation correct now let's move towards p type semiconductor so what p type semiconductor says it says that when you do the silicon atom that is intrinsic silicon semiconductor with any group 3 element that is the elements having 3 electrons in its outermost orbit or we can say 3 valence electrons right so 
which are those materials as we discussed it they are boron aluminium gallium thallium and indium okay we will be not be using this because they are reactive elements so mostly you we, we, we use aluminium and boron okay so let us take the example of aluminium over here so this is aluminium so now how the bond formation will take place since silicon has four electrons there will be four electrons okay in the outermost orbit but since aluminum has three it will make bond okay with only three electrons one two and this one three over here the bond formation is not taking place so over here there is one vacancy which is nothing but hole that is vacancy of electron this is also electron of this silicon atom so this so what we conclude from this by by this type of doping and obviously we are discussing the case of non degenerative where the doping ratio is like this that is in every 10 raised to 10 silicon atoms we are doping one aluminum okay so over here nothing discrete level type of sort of thing will be created in the energy band diagram so over here we are having extra holes it means that whenever we add the or we can say whenever we dope the silicon atom that is intrinsic silicon semiconductor not silicon atom the intrinsic semiconductor with group 3 impurity and let's say aluminium then what happens that we are increasing the number of holes right let me plot the energy band diagram okay so what we are doing we are increasing the holes and let me also plot this for reference purpose that is for intrinsic one fermi level for the intrinsic semiconductor now what happens is that as we discussed okay in n type semiconductor there are states okay and over here after addition of this aluminum what we are doing actually let's say this is for intrinsic okay so all these are filled and over here we have the efi but after the addition over here you can see there are six states and three are filled so probability is half so this is our fermi level okay when the al is not doped but after the, this doping what happens is that we are not adding any extra electron actually we are creating hole so obviously some we are but, but when we dope this what will happen there will not be any extra electron but one extra state will be created that is one extra gap will be there okay which is nothing but our holes since we are adding holes so what happens is that over here the fermi level will move downward you can see over here now we are adding one more state so over here probability will not be half you can clearly see but over here it will be half because three states are filled out of six states over here we are adding extra state okay please note that let me write here extra state we are adding okay it is number of allowed state that is nc and nv we are adding extra nv over here so that's why ef i that is now we denote it by efp in order to denote that it is of p type so over here our fermi level will move downwards and i am denoting it by ep and again due to this 10 raised to 10 is to 1 ratio of the addition of aluminum atoms there will be the interaction okay but since they are very far so the gap band the band will not be created but there will be a discrete energy level as same as in case of n type semiconductor but over here the discrete level will be created over here okay and that will create it is discrete but we will denote it by e a why ea because they are acceptors since we are creating over here holes right so all these are holes whatever number of and let's say the concentration of the addition of impurity is na that's why we denote it by na because these are called acceptor impurities so this is ea okay let me compare with the n type so over here n type you can see this is ed you see ev efn it is efp or ep you can denote okay efp will be better so this is for a stands for acceptor okay and this is the concentration of the acceptor impurity correct so what happens now this is the complete energy band diagram of p type 
Now what happens as we increase the temperature, the okay electrons from here will jump to conduction bend and the holes will be created, right? You can clearly see. And some electrons, all electrons will not go. Some will go, but some will reach over here. Okay, and fill this state, right? And again, those electrons which are going from here to here will create ions. Over here, it will be negative ions as they are accepting. So that's why this there, there will be negative charge, and over here it will be positive ion, right? And whatever electrons are going here, they will just generate electron hole pair. So whatever goes there will generate electron hole pair, whereas which goes from silicon to aluminium this discrete uh, level do the acceptor level is created due to aluminium doping okay so whatever goes from one atom to other will create charges or we can say ions right positive or negative ions so this is all about the energy band diagram of p type semiconductor and again we can discuss same thing for degenerative type that is when we have large number of doping and in that case what will happen this is the case for non-degenerative as discussed in n type okay because here doping is very much less but in case of degenerative what we do the doping is very large and over here what was the here na that is this our concentration is always less than nv or equals to right actually i said equal to is a critical case less than Na less than Nv will be non degenerative case, okay. Whereas Na greater than Nv that we'll be discussing here, Na greater than Nv will be the degenerative case. And over here, what we do? We do large number of Al atoms, okay, in pure sil in silicon semiconductor, in intrinsic semiconductor, or we can say in pure silicon semiconductor. And please denote note that 10 raised to 10 is to 1. Okay, this doping concentration is less than 10 raised to 5 is to 1, and it is intuitive. Or in every 10 raised to 10 SI atom, we are adding one impurity. Over here, in every 10 raised to 5 silicon atoms, we are adding one impurity. So this level is of impurity or doping is higher as compared to this. Okay, I hope it is clear. So same thing over here. Uh, in not what will happen. In the energy band diagram, you can see that this is of EFI. EFP will merge or can let me change the color or can be if we dope with this condition, then what happens that EFP will it is possible that EFP can uh, overcome this okay and moves to the valence band. And we know it valence is all, also a band okay and it is conduction band from EC to. E top and it is from EV to E bottom. So it can come and merge over here and this level that is which I have not drawn yet but this level which is this one that is acceptor energy level okay it also now will form bond since the aluminum atoms are now very much near so for they will create one discrete donor discrete acceptor level sorry okay since they are accepting electrons right so that's why we call it acceptor so this due to this acceptor level this is discrete but in case of degenerative case it will not remain discrete but it will come it will okay form band and merge to the valence band so this is all about the difference okay in energy band diagrams in case of degenerative and please denote please note that we are using the same flow as discussed in our n type semiconductor and so the charge balance equation of this will be discussed in our next lecture thank you